Fine, fine. Uh, this is my basketball room. <laughs> well, 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 you know it's crazy. Here, here, here's my basketball room. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. All the places I have played basketball at. Okay. Yep. So I got Bologna, Virgil, Bilbao, Madrid, and Las Palmas. You remember this? Oh, yeah. Viola Logo. Viola. Viola, yes. yeah. In this week, uh, uh, <laughs> in this week, uh, we talk about the Viola history. Yeah. And I start to my favorite question. My personal memory of Sean Bandiver on the peak <laughs> is a player with the broken fingers who gave his best for this team, Pfizer, Viola, Reggio Calabria. Do you remember? I remember. I remember, yes. In practice, in, um, uh, how you say, Al Elemento, you know, I, I broke my finger and I have one surgery, I play, I re break, and then I have another surgery. But I I I love Viola. I love Reggio Calabria, and I wanted to try for the uh, for the club and for the city. Who is now Sean Bandier? <laughs> uh, assistant coach, men's basketball at the University of Wyoming, and um, before seven years, head coach at uh, Emporia State. Uh, I am a father, five, cinque uh, kids, and um, my wife, we've been together for over 30 years. Tell me about your coach, Carlo Regaccabi. I remember Carlo. Carlo and um, um, Johnny uh, Benedetto. Uh, the, Carlo was the head coach and Johnny was the assistant. Carlo, very, very intelligent, very smart basketball coach good man um good coach better man um um coached us in a difficult time i think carlo uh wanted different players and he couldn't get them because when viola had uh volkoff and dean garrett and michael young uh, a lot of money um then when he continued Uh, no Panasonic, no, <laughs> no money, <laughs> no money. But uh, uh, even though I might not have been uh, Carlos' uh, first choice, he treated me very good. He treated me with respect. He treated me with uh, dignity and integrity. And he's a very good coach. And um, I, I love him. He's a good person. And when Sean uh, played in Reggio Calabria. Uh, I had uh, 13 years old, maybe. Uh, and, I, <laughs> and I remember a Gam Gam song, a famous song uh, with uh, this word. Uh, Sean, 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 Van Dive. Do you remember? <laughs> I remember. I, I love it. It's wonderful. It. One, wonderful song. I, I, I loved it. Um, um, Beautiful memories, beautiful memories. Uh, my children, my, my two older kids remember Reggio and, and love him. Um, my wife, uh, she loved Reggio as well. Uh, it, it was a good time. We used to uh, go to the bowling alley, bowling in Reggio. Yes, bowling. Um, and, and With then, Reggio White. Uh, yeah. Yeah, with Randy White. <laughs> Randy White. <laughs> Tell and, me uh, about Randy. Cra crazy player. Crazy, crazy, but good player. Randy, uh, you know, he, he, he was in the NBA, so he had to change his mentality from playing in the NBA to playing European basketball, but also living in a European town which is different from Dallas. <laughs> I know, I know. I remember. But, but he, he was a good, he was a good man. Uh, I talked to Randy one month ago. His daughter 
plays volleyball at the University of Texas. Very good player. Huh. And But Randy's doing good. He's doing good right now. Have you seen The Last Dance? What do you think? Uh, uh, it, you know, a lot of the stories in the basketball community, we heard, you know, about this before the docu-series. But it was good to relive those moments and see the greatness of Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls and the stories of Tony Kukoc, uh, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, Phil Jackson, Steve Kerr. It was, it was very good. It was very good. Have you kept in touch with any player of uh, the viola, fights of viola? I saw Bill Wennington three years ago. Um, and um, he, he still lives in Illinois. I'm from Illinois. Uh, uh, Bill and I both live outside of Chicago, but he's doing good. He, look, he looked good. Um, I'm happy for him. When Bill was with um, Virtus, uh, I was with Fortitudo. So we lived in the same city. How much has basketball changed from uh, those years to today? Um, I, I think the United States is very similar to Europe because when I was in Europe, um, big players played outside. Shoot the three, play really well. You know, um, um, Gustavo. Ah, Tolotti. Gustavo. Tolotti. Tolotti. Very good. Tolotti. Yeah. Very good shot from the perimeter. You know, um, um, you know, you know, playing with Alessandro Fantasi and all those guys. I just have great memories. You know, G uh, Giorgio. George. Giorgio Giorgio yeah, very good memories. Uh, Gustavo Tolotti uh, in 1989. Uh, blocked Michael Jordan in Barcelona circuit. Blocked. Oh, big time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have the video. A uh, wonderful game. Please, please share the video with me. I would love to see okay, it. Okay, okay. Real video, real video. Don't you think it's something magical that Kobe Bryant, as child, and Manu Ginobili passed from Reggio uh, to the first European experience? It's magical. No, it's magical, but it, 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 it's very good. You know, uh, my daughter uh, remembers her time with Estudiantes, and she played one year in Spain. Uh, Kobe Bryant and Reggio Calabria, the stories are very famous. When I got there, they were already talking about Kobe being in Reggio. And then when I, I left Reggio and went to Spain, I heard of Ginobili. And I finally played against Ginobili when I was with Estudiantes and he was with Virtus. In EuroLeague. In EuroLeague, yes. EuroLeague, EuroLeague. EuroLeague. Uh, a message. A message from uh, Viola fan. Uh, my message to Viola is I love you. Uh, it, was a, it, it was crazy, but good times in, uh, in, in Reggio. And... Um, uh, Viva or die viola. <ride> grazie, grazie mille, grazie. Buon lavoro, ci vediamo presto e grazie. Grazie, grazie. Thank you. A presto. Right. Bye bye.